You. All right, questions for Younger Bastida. Well, I guess start by talking about your matchup with uh, Zach Elam uh, on Sunday. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward for that match, you know. We have been, like, you know, the whole season have been, you know, like uh, wrestling against, like, good uh, good guys. So, yeah, I'm excited about this match on Sunday. Is there an added layer that you're both undefeated, so someone has to come out with a loss? Is there any pressure with that? No, I don't have any pressure, you know. At the time that I go out there, I just will, I, I will be looking for, you know, scoring points, you know. So, yeah, for my part, I don't have any pressure on it. It's just another match. It seems like a lot of times we've been talking to you, oh, you got a top 10 matchup, you got, now you got a top five, and you've so far undefeated, I mean. <laughs> yeah, I'm used to it, you know, that's what, that's what I'm saying, you know. Just go out there and score points. My mentality is go out there and get, you know, a mere decision, a take fall. And then, you know, my opponent, they, they, they have to try to survive for, for, you know. So, yeah. You obviously wrestled Rocky a lot last year and the year before. Now you get Zach. What do you know about Zach, and how do you think he differs from Rocky in a wrestling style? So I feel like Rocky, he shoots more, and then his brother is more like a counter wrestler, you know? He doesn't shoot as much as his brother. But they both are really good wrestlers, I can say. So, yeah. What have so, you seen out of David's approach um, this week being the matchup that it is? You know, he's, he's, he, he's excited. You know, he's excited about it, you know? He, in the last week, like this week, uh, he have been like training hard. You know, I can see him like way focused on, um, on you know, on this uh, next match because he know he knows what he got in front of him. So yeah, he he's ready. He's ready to go. Yeah, we see. What's it like for you, as close as you are with him, to know that this is going to be his last match in Hilton, and he gets to he gets about as good a one as he could hope for. So, you know, I'm close to him, you know, he's, uh, he's excited because it's, you know, his last match and against, like, he's, you know, top, his top opponent. But, you know, he's sad at the same time, like, you know, for the fans, for his teammates, for the coaches, you know, it will be a tough uh, Sunday for us. But, yeah, he's excited at the same time. <laughs> yeah. What has it meant to you to have David Carr as a friend and teammate? Man, you know, he's... It's uh, I don't know. I think everyone, everyone, every single team, like I bet that they want to have like a David Carr on their team because he's, you know, he's a, it's a humble person, you know, and then he's like kind of like a leader, you know, like he he you 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 fall down, he will pick you up and say let's go, bro, you got this, you know, so it's pretty pretty nice, you know, all this like four years been like a. Like a dream having Davey on the team and like, you know, see him like go uh, win a title, you know. So yeah, having him is, is amazing. You mentioned when you fall down, <laughs> he's right there to pick you up. But I've also noticed the end of matches, when someone wins, he picks them up and lifts them up. What's that like? And I know he's done that with you. What's it like when you get picked up by David Carr after a big win? Yeah, that, 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 that you know, that too. Like you, you win or lose, he will be right there, you know. He will give you, you, you hand, come on, bro, you got this. So if you win, he will celebrate like as much as you. Like he will get more excited than you if you win a good match or whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that is pretty nice too. Like it's, it's awesome. David is, uh, you know, he's a, such a great person. So yeah. How are you feeling about the last duel? I mean, for you, from your perspective, to have your last, not your last one, you're not graduating, but it's the end of the duel season. How excited are you to wrestle one more time this season in Hilton? And I, you know, I'm always excited, you know, because you know, like the, that atmosphere in there is it's amazing. So I'm always like, you know, really, really excited to go out there and you know, with the team, with the coaches, and do our thing. So it's super, you know. It's it's a uh, I don't know. It's kind of like I don't know how to explain it. Like every time that we step out there, we want to do the best for for Iowa State and also. So yeah. Cool. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.